Hello, my witchy bats. It is I, one witchy woman, the gal who couldn't find a quote for this intro. Today's vid will be how I do my makeup with my glasses on. You'll have to forgive me because my ring light keeps reflecting off my glasses and I can't stop that. So, first off, you will need a good primer because your glasses will rub off the makeup. It can't be helped, it can't be stopped. I've tried all sorts, but a good primer should help last it a bit longer. And I accidentally left some makeup on there from yesterday, so we're just going to ignore that. Next is eyeshadow primer. This will help your eyeshadow not fade as much and stay more bold on your eyes throughout the day. You'll have to forgive me for how close I have to get to my phone and my mirror. I generally can't see at all. See? Can't see. Can't see. Can't see. Now I can see you. I'm just that blind. Oh, once the two primers are on your face, it's foundation time. This is the foundation I use, my regular go-to. I got this makeup brush to do my foundation as my hand kept cramping when I was using the sponge which wasn't really comfortable or ideal when I'm doing makeup quite often. But remember, what works for me might not work for you, so use a brush, use a sponge, use your fingers, whatever works best for you to put your makeup on. I will apologise for how late this vid uh, has been. I did have a previous video planned but I ended up scrapping it because I was not a fan of the final result or any of the footage that I had filmed. It was kind of rushed and I feel like I could have done a much better job with it. So once all the foundation is nice and blended in your face, it's time to contour. So I use this little coffin piece of card thing that I got from Morticia's manicure. Go and show her some love. She's not been feeling well lately. My contour powder is the VE Cosmetics Graveyard Dirt Powder. Here's a better picture. Make sure you tap off the excess so that way you don't put too much on your face and you can slowly build it up. Then I line the card up with this little ear groove that I've got. I don't know what that is actually called. And then I just brush it on. And of course, no matter how often I do this, no matter how many times I have done my makeup, no matter how many years I have contoured my face, I can't get either side to match. So do a quick check, putting on my glasses to see what it looks like. And I'm actually, I like how I actually did this one. It does not match, as always, but that's what a blender is for. I usually blend it out until, of course, both sides look somewhat decent, but makeup's not perfect and it's never going to be perfect. Setting powder, as you know, it is baby powder. I have too much of it and I don't want it to go to waste. Remember to set the nose as much as you can. This will help prevent the makeup from 
sliding off your face when your glasses slide down. It helps sort of stick it to your face longer. Now, normally what I do is I do actually like to contour my nose, but again, with my glasses always sliding down on my face, I tend to avoid it when I actually wear my glasses. So next is eyebrows. I do this with my glasses on to see where they sit. So that way I can avoid my eyebrows actually touching my glasses. I don't want them to get rubbed off throughout the day. So I usually do my eyebrows above the glasses to avoid this. And of course, if you make any mistakes like I did when I was doing these eyebrows, just use a cotton bud or a Q-tip and just wipe away the excess. And of course, I use a different brush to add some details and make them look a bit more shaped, I guess would be the word you could use. And it's Witchcraft Foundation by VE Cosmetics for my eyelids. I put a little foundation on my glasses to see where it sits to avoid doing my inner eyes too big. This sort of gives me a guide on where I can do the little pointy bits. I don't know what you would actually call those. As you can see here, that's where my glasses sit. So that's how far I can do my eye look before it would get ruined. And of course, setting it again with eyeshadow and baby powder. I have thought about doing the white bit in different colours, but I'm not the best with colourful eye makeup, so I end up doing the same makeup look over and over again, which is just black and white eyeliner. I'm in desperate need of the new one, so please forgive how worn this one looks. This is the VE Cosmetics put a stamp on it. And then I just follow my eye shape, as you can see here, as best as I could film it. I uh, can't see, and I'm trying to do an eye look, so you'll have to forgive the strange angles that I am currently filming at to sort of capture this. And of course I do the outer, inner. Again, I'm not sure what you call this bit of your eye, but I just do this bit. I follow the foundation that I've marked previously. And of course, I wipe away any mistakes and add a little eyeshadow underneath my eye due to this eye crease that I have that just likes to make my makeup more complicated than it needs to be. So then I use any of these black, black eyeshadows that I have and I, of course, just slap that on my eyelid. That's how eyeshadow works and that's how I put it on. Tapping the excess will of course uh, prevent fallout and then it will prevent it getting on your face and then you're accidentally wiping it and then getting a bunch of streaks on your face. I've had to learn this the hard way many, many, many times. And because this is the makeup look that I wear with my glasses, I do add these little tiny eyelashes. I guess you could call them at the bottom. Uh, this is just to make my eyes look even bolder because I feel like sometimes the glasses draw away from my actual eye look. It's lipstick time. This is the Raven Tears from, you guessed it, VE Cosmetics. I usually wear the VE Cosmetics uh, Black Sulfur Lipstick that sadly was in my bag and my bag was in the cupboard and I could not have been bothered to go get it. So this one was the closest one that I had. And of course, the finger check. I do this to stop makeup, uh, not makeup, lipstick getting on my teeth. I can't remember who told me this, but I have just 
done it every single time I wear lipstick. I forgot to mention that I did put on some setting spray um, during one of these cuts. Uh, it is the Mue Pro Base Fixing Spray. And then just add some cool earrings and ta-da, my gothic look with my glasses. Isn't my friend Gasly Nova so talented? Look at these earrings that they made. Ooh, they're so pretty. Thank you for watching and remember, stay spooky.